what's good y'all i'm joelle and for the next week i'm gonna be eating and working out like the queen jenny kim of blackpink if you're anything like me your instagram explore page is like 85 percent blackpink photos so i decided to just dive even deeper into my obsession and try to learn a little bit of what it's like to live life like jenny some general rules i read that jenny follows while she's prepping for that comeback are eating controlled portions starting every day with an avocado salad and a detox juice for breakfast and avoiding salty foods and indulging in sweets which breaks my heart and yeah let's see how it goes Jenny is known for doing a lot of Pilates and aerial yoga so I did about 45 minutes to an hour of Pilates or yoga a day this week this part was honestly pretty fun I enjoy working out and I just realized how inflexible I am so I could work on that uh, I've literally never attempted to diet before so for health reasons I'm going to be eating very intuitively for this challenge meaning that if I'm hungry I'm gonna eat and if I'm not I won't so utmost apologies if you want to see another video of a girl starving herself for a k-pop diet um, there's already plenty of those out there on the internet and this is not bad I couldn't find exactly what Jenny he puts in her avocado salads besides avocado but i like variety so i prepped a bunch of my favorite veggies honestly one of the hardest parts of this diet for me is the no or low salt rule because your girl likes flavor i found that red wine vinegar is pretty low in sodium so i seasoned my salad with that plus some nutritional yeast but honestly i don't know how jenny does this as a korean girl because i feel like everything we eat is super salty and spicy and thankfully i do like salad and veggies but low-key eating salad for breakfast I felt like a rabbit. And for lunch, I love meal prepping, so I just cooked a bunch of broccoli and chicken breast for the week. And you know, I wish I could have seasoned that chicken, but if Jenny eats it bland, then so will I. And I'll warn in advance that some of my meals in this video are particularly uninspired. I'm sorry, there are days that I lacked creativity. So day one is no exception. I basically ate the same thing for dinner as I did for lunch. It's like what I imagine like British people eating in like the 1800s when like salt was like precious. <laughs> And you'll notice I eat a lot of healthy snacks throughout the week because like I said, starvation is not for me. I also wanted to just take some time to chat about K-pop and body image. Because while I love Jenny, Blackpink, and K-pop in general, I think it's pretty obvious that it can be hard to watch these impossibly skinny and beautiful girls dance around without feeling a tinge of jealousy or even curiosity as to how they're able to live looking like literal goddesses. I mean, I'm literally making this video right now, so clearly I'm curious about how they do it. But I know that personally, I I definitely have to check in with myself to see how I'm feeling to know if I'm in a good enough place to try making a video like this or even in a good enough place to watch and enjoy K-pop without feeling bad about myself. I'm thankful to say that right now I'm feeling pretty solid but there definitely have been times when I watch music videos or I'm scrolling through Instagram or Reddit and it just makes me feel sad about myself and I know I'm in too deep and I need to take a break just to reset mentally. So with that said, I definitely don't think I'm the only person who has felt that way. So if you relate to that in any way, just remember we're in this together and that little things like protecting your brain from images that spark comparison and inadequacy are an important part of self-care no matter how small they may be. So that's a large reason of why I decided to interpret Jenny's diet for this video as non-restrictive. I wanted to take parts of Jenny's diet that are actually good for me like eating more veggies or reducing my sodium intake. All this being said, it's important to reiterate that what we see on TV is not reality and as much as I love Korean culture and music I obviously feel like I have to acknowledge there's definitely a dark side to Korean entertainment with intense restrictions on diets imposed plastic surgeries to allow career advancement and various other impositions placed on young people's bodies without transparent info that create a really harmful culture around health and wellness you know if we're really gonna think about this this obviously does create a little bit of an ethical pickle when it comes to consuming k-pop but I think that there is ways to celebrate the creative Activity and talent of performers while spreading awareness of the aspects of the industry that we'd like to see changed which is generally honestly how I also feel about Hollywood and the American entertainment industry that I currently work in <laughs> anyways I know since I wasn't starving myself for this video y'all might be like so how is this even still a challenge and let me tell you for someone who gets a lot of joy out of food any kind of dietary restriction is still hard I love my flavor I love eating ridiculous volumes of carbs I snack a lot so it was definitely different to eat for function just to fuel my body without the excess versus eating for fun which is what I normally do plus honestly by this point in the challenge I was getting so bored of my morning salads I just wanted to eat a fat bowl of salty MSG ridden noodles however 
This is where I had much to learn from Jenny. As I said, my goal is to find aspects of Jenny's diet that could actually be healthier habits in my life. And I feel like I definitely learned about a few opportunities for growth in my lifestyle. For one, I realized how often I crave highly processed foods with tons of sodium and sugar, like hot Cheetos, sugary coffees, etc. While swapping those for something like almonds or grapes may not be as satisfying. I definitely felt much more energetic and it made me happy to know that I was feeling my body with good things. I also realized just how many non-salt seasonings there are that I'd been missing out on. And I use a lot of spices that I don't normally use this week, which I feel like is cool to learn as an amateur cook. And of course, this week was a great reminder of the importance of habits and balance. It was honestly really weird to be so fixated on what I was eating every meal this week. So that's where I feel like building healthy habits that are sustainable works so much better for me. Do I personally think I could go on a restrictive diet for a long time? Hell no. But would I bring elements of a diet into my lifestyle to incorporate in the long term? Absolutely. And at the end of the week, I can honestly say I was feeling much more in tune with my body. I was feeling snatched and strong. I have no idea how much of a visible difference there was in my body, but overall it was a great experiment and definitely gave me a deeper appreciation for Jenny and other K-pop stars' discipline and work ethic. However, my hope is that Daddy YG is treating Jenny and the other Blackpink girls well and that in the future we'll be able to see K-pop stars of all body types that celebrate health over size. And of course, I just want to say thanks to y'all for coming along this journey with me. Stream solo. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!